why, why, why do so-called law of attraction authorities always make manifesting way more complicated than it needs to be? Hey, it's Andrew, otherwise known as the guy who wrote the last law of attraction book you'll ever need to read. And today is day 99 out of my 100 day challenge where I'm uploading new content every single day for 100 consecutive days. So I am just about across that finish line. We're almost there. Tomorrow's the big day, but you know what? Today is also a big day because I've got a really important topic that I was saving for today to discuss with you. But first, if you could check out my buymeacoffee.com page that I've set up, that's where you could actually support this content that I've been doing for the past 99 days that I'm taking into tomorrow. And of course, if you don't wanna go that route, you could always just hit the like button on this video. That will also support me in a really huge way and I really appreciate it. With that said, let's dive into this very important topic today. You know, when you write a book called The Last Law of Attraction Book You'll Ever Need to Read, obviously there's a built-in understanding that most people that find their way to the book have read so many other books and they've gone through so many other programs and they've gone to other teachers or authors or whatever you might want to call them and they've still not gotten the answer they're looking for. And whether it's on purpose or more likely inadvertent, I think, you know, to be a little judgmental here, it's because the sources of information are always overcomplicating things unnecessarily. Now, why are they doing this? Well, maybe they have a 50 page book and they wanna turn it into 200 pages. Maybe they wanna sound more intelligent. Maybe for them, even in their minds, unless it's more complicated, unless it's more in depth or robust, it must not work or who knows what, who knows the reason? All I know is all day, every day, I seem to find all this stuff. So I guess I'm caught in my own law of attraction loop for that. But I keep seeing all this information and all these different ways in which people are explaining things in an overly complicated, unnecessary manner. And the thing about it is it's actually really subtle. You don't even see it unless you know to look for it. Case in point, the thing that really spurned this specific video where I said, okay, it's finally time to record a message about this. It's a meme that I saw online and I'll actually read it for you. It says, when manifesting, and it gives a list of six things here. It says, one, always stay positive. Two, say it like it's already done. Three, do not spend time thinking about anything opposite to what you want. Four, meditate on what you want. Five, see it, smell it, feel it, hear it. And six, if it's real in your brain, it will be real in the physical. Uh, first of all, uh, <laughs> again, really subtle hidden things here. Notice how six isn't even an instruction, but it's just an added piece here. So automatically here, a lot of people don't think about this. Your brain is going in a certain direction. You're reading through this list. You're saying, okay, let me do that. Let me do that. Let me do that. And all of a sudden there's a step there that isn't in consistency with the way the other things are framed. And it's actually creating friction without you even realizing it. And I'm sure without the realization of the person who made that meme or who made that list, they don't even realize that they're not being consistent in their wording and that they're creating unnecessary friction and confusion in the person that's reading it. It is that deep here. This is where we go with this because again, as humans, we are already overly complicating everything anyway. So wherever we can find simplicity and consistency, we want to lean in that direction. But it actually goes deeper than that. Looking at this list, again, I mean, on the surface, it looks like, hey, this is really good advice. This person really knows what they're talking about. But look at option number one. Look at step number one here. Always stay positive. You know what? That's nice in theory, but often impossible in the real world. And the key thing to keep in mind is it's unnecessary in the real world. We have emotions, we have experiences, we have situations where at some point in the day we're feeling really good and really confident and other points where something will happen to shake our confidence even when we're in the middle of manifesting wonderful things. And I think it's important for you to understand you want to be as positive as often as possible but not to the point where you are pressuring yourself to do so because once you're in that moment that you're pressuring yourself, you are taking yourself out of the positivity without even realizing it. And the idea that you always have to be positive is not only ridiculous, but counterproductive to what you really want to accomplish. Let's look at step two. Say it like it's already done. All right, I am down. I am on board with that. In fact, we don't even have to say any more. The only problem that I have here is that that is surrounded by other pieces of misleading advice. So that just gets lost in the shuffle there. But 
I'll say that, say it like it's already done. Beautiful. And that's, again, that's the thing about this. This is subtle. We get this information, we get this advice, and a certain percentage of it is spot on. And therefore our brains tell us, okay, these other pieces are spot on, even if there's confusion around it and we don't know what to do with it. So this number two that they put, perfect. I'm just unhappy that they surrounded it with other misleading stuff. Let's go to part three here. Number three is do not spend time thinking about anything opposite to what you want. And again, just like step one, that's good in theory, but it's gonna happen and that's okay. The whole key to this is you wanna tip the scales and more often than not, lean in the positive. More often than not, think about the things that you want. In fact, not even more often than not because that's gonna happen naturally, but even just five minutes of concentrated focus a day on this thing in a way that you actually enjoy so that it doesn't feel like a chore or a commitment and you actually look forward to it, that's all you need because that in and of itself will build up the momentum for you. And I think that this list that I'm reading off right now, it misses that. It misses the fact that momentum will be built for you when you keep it simple and you keep it easy, even in short five minute spurts each and every single day. Let's look at number four, meditate on what you want. Again, that's good, but not necessary. It's a powerful thing that you can do. It's something that'll really get you where you need to go, but you don't have to, especially because some people, they have a fixed point of view about what meditation really is. It could be a number of things. There are easier ways than what most people realize. But if you're reading this list and you're uncomfortable with what you view meditation as, all of a sudden you're gonna start telling yourself that you can't manifest because you can't complete step number four on this arbitrary list. So meditating is a good thing but not required. And by the way, again, there are more versions of meditation than most people realize. In fact, you know, even me talking right now, this is a meditation because I am venting, so to speak. I'm letting go of pent up emotion and I'm kind of being true to myself in who I actually am in this moment. That is a form of meditation. Let's move on to number five here. See it, smell it, feel it, hear it. Okay, cool. Well, again, this is where we overcomplicate things without realizing it. I think sometimes people read that list and are like, okay, I've got to do all that all at once, which is not true. And by the way, how come taste it is not mentioned? It's like there's this weird missing piece of, like we know what our senses are, we see this list and then there's a missing piece and we don't realize it consciously, but subconsciously we're wondering why. And then there's doubt, then there's hesitation. And all of a sudden this whole manifestation thing, as we're reading this list, it feels more than it needs to be. It feels like it's too much. It feels overwhelming. It feels like we can't actually get there, which is a huge illusion and obviously a huge lie. You can manifest, you just can't let yourself overcomplicate it through arbitrarily inaccurate advice. Finally, number six, again, this sounds good on the surface. If it's real in your brain, it will be real in the physical. That is true, but it can actually come even before it feels real in the brain if you're building up that energetic momentum. So it might happen that way, it often happens that way, but it's not required to happen that way in order for you to manifest something. That's why sometimes something comes to you and it still feels like a surprise. I mean, you feel good about it, you feel invigorated, but it's a happy, pleasant surprise and the universe will do that a lot more for you when you leave yourself open to it. So yeah, if you can make something feel real in your brain, please do it because strategically, that's a huge leveraging point for you, but again, not required. And this whole list, again, I don't think the person meant it this way, but I do believe that people, when they read it, they interpret it this way as if you have to complete the whole list, as if you have to do it exactly this way and all these things are true and there's no room for any interpretation. And by the way, if there's any doubt in your mind about any of these pieces, all of a sudden you're doubting yourself on how or when or if or why you might manifest what you want and then you're going in the complete opposite direction of what you should. So again, you know, day 99 here, this is me venting this, this is me getting this out because I see this and I notice this all the time. And the thing that frustrates me about this is because if only people knew not to overcomplicate things, if only they took it to its simplest core foundation, not only would they manifest faster and easier and better, but they would enjoy their lives in the meantime so much more because they wouldn't be putting so much unnecessary pressure on themselves. And you know, I keep saying the word unnecessary. In fact, I wonder how many times I've said it in this video, but I've been saying it a lot because it's always there, that energy of unnecessary, because people unnecessarily add more friction, they add more obstacles, they add more illusions of obstacles than they really need to without realizing it. 
And I'm here to tell you that it can be so much simpler. Scrap that list of six things that I just read to you today and just say, listen, I'm gonna do five minutes a day of gratitude or scripting or visualization in a way that I look forward to, in a way that I enjoy so that every single day I'm feeling good while thinking about what I have or what I want or both and then know that automatic things will happen for you. Things will unfold for you. The universe will do heavy lifting and you will be inspired to do action yourself so that you will do some of the heavy lifting as well, but you'll do it in an abundant thinking way, not a lackful thinking way. And that's all there is to it. So please be hyper cognizant because, you know, I like to think that people found my book and they're like, all right, this is it. I'm going to go with this. But oftentimes if people found my book, it's because they're going down the law of attraction rabbit hole. If they found this YouTube channel, they're going down the law of attraction rabbit hole, meaning they're listening to all these different channels. And some of them are inadvertently conflicting with one another without realizing it. And we, again, we are overcomplicating things. We're listening to this person, we're listening to that person. We're saying that step, we're saying that step. And we're not even realizing it. We're saying, okay, this is all required all at once even though some of it clashes and is inconsistent with other pieces that other people are teaching. Of course, it's going to be inconsistent because different people are teaching different things, not knowing or not even caring or not even counting for the fact that somebody else is teaching something, maybe even the same thing in a different way. So in the spirit of that, with that in mind, comment below right now, manifesting is easy and simple. In fact, comment below, I make manifesting easy and simple. Comment that below, put that sentiment out there, make that claim, put out that statement of intent, make that your reality for yourself that you make manifesting easy and simple because that's how you also make it very enjoyable and very efficient. And any comment, whether it's that or anything else positive, that's gonna get you entered into this month's contest where one lucky winner will walk away with lifetime access to Gravity of the Cosmos, my advanced level full immersion guided program for manifesting your every desire through the law of attraction. And you can learn more about the program by going to gravitythecosmos.com where I have a free training on three secrets for manifesting your desires faster than you ever thought possible. Or you can check out my book, The Last Law of Attraction Book You'll Ever Need to Read, which has a link to special bonuses, one of which includes the first few days of Gravity of the Cosmos, free of charge so that you can try it before you buy it. And of course, you can very easily check out my book by going to lastlawofattractionbook.com, which will auto forward to the Amazon listing. And speaking of my book, I wanna take a quick minute out here and thank one of my awesome readers who recently left feedback for it. So today's Spotlight Feedback, a five-star rave review. This was left by Lucinda on January 24th, 2021 with the subject heading life-changing for me. And it reads, the content of this book is life-changing. It has opened up a whole new world of I can be, do, or have anything I want in this lifetime. I know that this book came into my life at the right time. I still get goosebumps when I think about the way I came upon this book, and it has become an everyday listen or read for me. So thank you, Andrew, for allowing the universe to flow through you in order for this book to come into our lives. Amazing stuff. No, Lucinda, thank you. Thank you so much for finding your way to the book, and most importantly, thank you for using the content to your advantage, and of course, Thank you for leaving that feedback. I appreciate you beyond words. And before I head out for today, you've probably been noticing in recent videos, I've been giving a thought of the day that's for you to help you manifest what you want more easily. So in the spirit of the content that I've gone to in today's topic, I have a very special thought that I really think and hope will apply to you as you watch this. So today's thought of the day, if it feels heavy, it's probably not yours. So don't waste your energy holding on to things that don't serve you, like bad advice or like unnecessary advice. <laughs> when you put them down, you make room to carry things that will light you up instead. Really hoping that connects with you, really hoping that resonates with you, and really hoping that you enjoyed and got a lot of value out of today's content. If you did, do me a favor and smash that like button and be back tomorrow because tomorrow is the big day that we've been leading up to. 100 days of content uploaded every single day to YouTube without fail, without miss. And you know what? I've got a very important and very special law of attraction message and lesson through that process that I will be giving to you tomorrow. So be back then. Thank you so much for watching. I will look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Hey!